Chuck Todd is NBC's political director and the moderator of Meet the Press. Chuck, thanks so much for joining us this Sunday morning. Uh, well, Morgan, it's nice to talk with you. Uh, I, I assume Willie has got the hot water, the honey, and the lemon going? He's got all of it. We set him up really Very nicely nice. before he left. Well but, Chuck, done. let's jump right into it. I mean, this has really been another wild week. Michael Wolff's yes. book, it sparked really this unprecedented conversation about the president's mental stability. Just yesterday, we were talking about Trump, how he just tweeted himself, defending, calling himself a stable genius. And the truth is we've never seen the president be so explicit in his own defense. This is uncharted water. So what does it say when we're really talking about the psychological fitness of our sitting president? Well, it, and, it, and it, as you point out, the president himself is stoking the fire. This was a conversation that was um, maybe being had at cocktail parties in Washington and New York. Yes, the Fire and Fury book has brought it uh, sort of brought it up a little bit more, and then all of a sudden you had a president yesterday, I, I think you clearly had a White House yesterday that was concerned enough about the coverage of the president of this book and this idea that he's on, that people around him think he's unfit for office, that they orchestrated that little event yesterday at Camp David so that the president could say, I am um, a, a very stable genius. That, actually, that's what he tweeted, and then he talked about that he went to the best colleges. So, look, I think this is not a good conversation for this White House. I am surprised at how much they're almost uh, playing into the narrative themselves on this, but some of it's, I think, being driven by the president himself and his own reactions um, that he's seeing uh, on television uh, throughout either yesterday morning and we'll see what happened, what he uh, tweets this morning. But, Chuck, that moment that I think punched us all in our gut when we saw him speak yesterday from Camp David, which when he yeah. said sloppy Steve, I mean, some of the most explosive details of Wolf's book really came from Steve Bannon's comments. And it's been said of Trump's inner circle that you're never actually fully out. But Bannon's banishment feels a little different this time. Is this is this permanent? It's hard to say that any banishment in Trump's orbit is ever permanent. There's plenty of examples of of fired staffers, even staffers that have been sued by Donald Trump to make it back into the fold. So I would never sit here and say, never say never. However, I can tell you this, the staff at the White House um, has, a, I think, a, an anger and perhaps even hatred of Bannon that's at a level that uh, I have never heard expressed before, um, uh, before the book was released. Hmm. So, so break something else down for us. This real mm -hmm. versus fake news. We've learned this week about developing investigations into the Clinton Foundation and the right. author of that controversial dossier. But is this a real investigation or is that just a political sideshow? Well, it looks like it perhaps could be a political sideshow. But look, if you're the White House, you're very happy about this development. I mean, here you have Republican senators, including one, Lindsey Graham, who's been a big critic of this president when it comes to Russia. Uh, calling for a perhaps a criminal investigation into the author of the dossier. Just adding that fuzziness to the investigation in Russia is something that the White House, um, PR-wise, is very happy about. All right. Chuck Todd joining us live this morning. Chuck, thank you so much. Thanks, Morgan. We'll be watching Meet the Press, where, as we mentioned, Chuck will be joined exclusively by Fire and Fury author Michael Wolf. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.